take a look at who's enjoying the limelight brought to you by Corona. What a start. Extra. Yeah, what a, what a start by D'Angelo Russell getting into his mid-range game, Mark. Lakers right now five for seven field goals in the paint. D'Angelo helping that cause goes right by Jean Morant, navigating to his spots and creating opportunities. Boy, if D'Angelo Russell is going to give you 10 points and be this type of offensive threat, have that kind of offensive gravity, it really changes the math a little bit for the Lakers. Albeit, even if it's only the short term, here's Moran. See where the Grizzlies run out of the timeout. Jones sprints into the DHO. That's going to be an offensive foul against Jackson Jr. That's his, pardon me, the third turnover for the Grizzlies. Taylor Jenkins pressing buttons without Luke Kennard. Guy who led the NBA in three-point percentage the last two years in a row. Davis all up the elbow. It's a popular set for them. He posts up. I see why it's popular, Doris. Yeah, I mean, the Grizzlies switch that. And as soon as they switch it, turn the lights out. The mismatch is complete and it's done. When Anthony Davis is right, he is a top five player in this league. We've seen it before. Defending Jackson here. And they get the miss. The follow no good. And here's Schroeder. Almost picked off by Moran out of bounds. It'll stay Lakers basketball. Now watch the switch by the Grizzlies on this little play between D'Angelo and mm. Anthony Davis. Conchar has just got no shot, right? He just sprints into the paint. And that's the difference for me with the Lakers, right? You, you said it earlier. They want to play with pace. It doesn't just mean in transition. It means Anthony sprinting into those actions because you're impossible to check right there when you're sprinting into that. Out to Russell. Davis setting a screen for him. Bain switches on to him. We'll see if Russell gets it up to him. There's your answer. The decision-making of Russell tonight so far has been impeccable, Doris. 8-0 run. Jackson for three. Reeves with the rebound. Good defense by Jones. Davis, good position on the block. And a little bit off. Davis with six points, four rebounds. That stat line really doesn't tell the whole story. Jaw. Man, that was a funky dribble, a little too funky for Sean Corbin, who called a palming discontinued dribble violation. Hey, Sunday on ABC, we'll have a fantastic NBA double dip for you. One Eastern, Madison Square Garden, game one, Heat and Knicks, followed by game seven of the Warriors against the Sacramento Kings, who are the story of the season so far in the NBA. Cover tips, NBA countdown at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time. ESPN 2 continues on ABC at 12.30 Eastern. Great doubleheader coming up on Sunday. The Grizz, Mark, have missed 14 of their last 16 shots. Some of them open. Obviously, Anthony Davis has had an impact on some of them. They've got to start making some open shots. That'll help. On cue, John Moran talked about his proclivity to knock down an abundance of three-pointers in the series. He's got seven in the game. Leaves at 12. Jackson switches. Davis missed on the other connection. And that's going to be a blocking foul against Austin Reeves. And that's going to put the Lakers at the free throw line. Jaron Jackson Jr. will get a couple of shots. Take another look here. Had a foul on Austin Reeves. He runs right over him. Yeah, sure looked like it. That's going to be his second personal foul. That's a great question, Doris. I frankly can't answer it. And Reeves is looking for answers, too. Jaron Jackson Jr., by the way, has not scored here in the game yet. 0 for 4 from the field. And this is a guy that on the season has averaged 18 a game, knocks down the second. 
I'll be honest, when, you, when you've gone a stretch where you've missed 14 to 16 and you're only down 11 on the road? Could be a lot worse for the Grizzlies right now. Six to go. LeBron, skip pass to the corner. Russell, he's hot. That one comes off. And that's going to do it for the first 12 minutes. The Los Angeles Lakers.